Centoya Brown. Abused. Are we ready to proceed? Physically, sexually, verbally. I've been in very dangerous situations. Abandoned by her parents. But somehow I just always seem to make it out alive. The Department of Corrections declined Fox 17 News' request to interview her. But filmmaker Dan Berman shared video from his seven years documenting Centoya Brown's case. I was abused, so I was very paranoid. She's convicted of murder for killing a Nashville realtor who'd bought her for sex. She was picked up by this 43-year-old man. Centoya was 16 years old when this started. Berman's documentary gave voice to her childhood horror. This is a young girl who is at the tail end of three generations of violence against women. Her grandmother, her mother, her, all raped. She had no chance. There was always a gun pointed at me, hit me, choked, dragged. She did kill someone, she deeply regrets it, but she was a child who was being traumatized and exploited. She shot Mr. Allen because she was fearful of him, didn't she? Yes. He was a sharpshooter in the army. If he does something to me, I'm sitting here thinking, what can I do? Further affecting impulse control, her mother testified drinking at least a fifth a day while pregnant. She was exposed to um, fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. Her brain was actually affected. There were brain scans that were done. She was being sex trafficked. Um, she, the, the pimp's name was Cutthroat. The only time that I would ever be um, considered for parole is that I was for 51 years. Since I would be 67 years old. A young girl today would not be in prison for life. It, it really does feel unjust. Berman's film on Centoya helped change Tennessee law for children like her in 2011. I like to believe that our film had enough uh, oomph in it to, to help uh, kind of jumpstart that conversation. Today, anyone 18 or younger can't even be charged with prostitution. No such thing as a child prostitute or a teen prostitute. We've had to have a cultural mind shift. If Brown's case were heard today, the court would treat her as a child human trafficking victim. Though Berman's not involved, there are now plenty who want her set free. There is a uh, very dedicated group of people who are working on a clemency campaign. All we can really hope is that the governor and uh, the parole board will really look at the unique factors of her case. Unique factors like the work she's done behind bars for years. I can create opportunities where I can actually help people. Here she is in graduation pictures from Lipscomb University for an associate's degree. She's now working on her bachelor's while working side by side with the courts and the juvenile justice system as an unpaid consultant, a friend of the system. She has used her experience to be able to make things better. We'll see you in the morning, young lady. I want a second chance.